Hey everybody, this is Caden from Achievement Hunter, and January was a little light on releases, but February is bringing the hype in this month's episode of Coming Soon. Let's go take a look at the multi-platform games first. On February 4th, developer TT Games takes the LEGO series to a new level. Usually making LEGO games based on movies and comic book franchises, this time they'll be creating a LEGO game based on the LEGO Movie. Releasing for the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Wii U, 3DS, and PC, this may be the biggest LEGO game to date. Lightning Returns on February 11th in Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Finishing the Final Fantasy 13 line of games, Lightning Returns adds in an open world and new gameplay ideas inspired by Skyrim and Dark Souls. Also on the 11th, Bethesda and 2K Games will be teaming up to release bundle packs of their favorite series. Bundle 1 contains Skyrim and Bioshock Infinite, while Bundle 2 holds Borderlands 2 and Dishonored. If you've missed out on these amazing games, do yourself a favor and grab these bundles. Rayman Legends, originally released last year, will see its next-gen release for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on February 11th. On the Xbox One, players will be treated to a Splinter Cell and Far Cry 3 costume, while PlayStation 4 players will be getting an Assassin's Creed costume. Additionally, PlayStation 4 will utilize the touchpad for certain actions, and the Xbox One will get time-limited achievements. NASCAR 14, releasing for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC on the 18th, is the sequel to NASCAR Inside the Line. Aside from updated graphics and reworked physics, additional new features include online leagues, more intelligent and difficult AI, and the ability to upgrade your car and hire new staff in career mode. On the 18th, the cult classic EDF series is back on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 with Earth Defense Force 2025. In 2025, you'll have four player classes, four vehicle types with a variation of each, and a slew of new aliens and giant bugs to slaughter. Dracula is back on the 25th in Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. While the original Lords of Shadow was more linear and Mirror Fate was closer to the Metroidvania style, Lords of Shadow 2 changes its style once again to be more of an open world type game. Additionally, Lords of Shadow 2 is said to be a far longer game than previous titles in the series. Retooled controls, new weapons, and a brand new setting gives Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 some fresh blood. Having taken 10 years off and originally intended to be the fourth installment of the series, the newly reworked reboot Thief releases on the 25th for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. With it to be announced but confirmed for the first week of February, The Wolf Among Us Episode 2 Smoke and Mirrors finally gets released. Episode 2 is looking to launch on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PC, and Mac on the same day, but word on the iOS and Vita releases have yet to be fully confirmed. The multi-platform releases for this month are over, so it's time to focus on the exclusives. Up first with its unique titles, Nintendo takes the spotlight. Up first is the spiritual successor to the DS game Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light. Bravery Default for the 3DS, making its way to the States on February 7th. Originally released for the PSP in Japan and also finally getting its US release, One Piece Romance Dawn drops on the 11th for the 3DS. DK is back in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Wii U on February 21st. Rather than being on a simple quest to get back his banana horde, DK and Diddy, now joined by Dixie Kong, and for the first time ever, Cranky Kong must travel across a frozen archipelago to unfreeze their home. The final Nintendo exclusive drops on the 28th for the 3DS and is the final installment of the Professor Layton prequel trilogy, Professor Layton and the Azrin Legacy. Time to take a look at the Microsoft exclusives for this month. Hope you guys like Fable because on the 4th we'll be getting Fable Anniversary for the Xbox 360 as a standalone title. Or for those wanting the full experience, the Fable Trilogy containing Fable Anniversary, Fable 2, and Fable 3 dropping on the same day. On the 25th, it's time for the plants to uproot and take the offensive in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Sony offers up a handful of new games, but those looking for PS4 exclusives won't be getting any this month. On the 11th, Tokiden The Age of Demons releases on the Vita. Exclusive to the PS3 and dropping on the 11th, the Far Cry compilation brings together Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3, and Far Cry Blood Dragon in one budgeted collection. Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc also releases on the 11th for the Vita. A murder mystery set in an elite high school in Japan gives players a much more mature in-your-face story with gameplay reminiscent of the Ace Attorney series. The final Sony exclusive is Tales of Symphonia Chronicles for the PS3, dropping on the 25th. Symphonia Chronicles contains both the original Tales of Symphonia and Dawn of the New World remastered in HD. PC's up next to dazzle us with its exclusive titles. Jazz Punk, a spoof comedy-style espionage game, releases on the 7th for both PC and Mac. Setting itself in a simpler time, but drawing gameplay inspiration from both The Sims and its sister series, Sim City, Banished is released on the 18th for PC players. On the 20th, Men of War Assault Squad 2 drops on PC. 
Included in this sequel is a new single player mode, a face off versus mode, and an 8v8 game mode. Haven't been able to play Resident Evil 4 on any of the millions of consoles it's already been on? Well, on the 27th, Resident Evil 4 makes its way to PC, and this time it's not a bad port. The Resident Evil 4 Ultimate HD Edition is touted as the best visual representation of the game, running at a solid 60 frames per second. Finally, with a to-be-announced for February, The Battles of King Arthur satisfies the strategy game itch for the month with crisp graphics, loads of different unit classes, and a steady difficulty curve. Last but certainly not least, let's take a quick look at the currently announced DLC for the month. Just in time for Valentine's Day, on the 14th, The Last of Us Left Behind hits the PS3 exclusively. And no longer an Xbox One exclusive, the Battlefield 4 Second Assault DLC hits the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC sometime in February, with no solid release date just yet. That's all for February. As always, I'll see you next month for more.